Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We are back with our very special guest all the way from Israel, Dr. Mordechai Kadar, former lieutenant colonel in the Israeli military for 25 years and an expert on all things relating to Iran. Welcome back, Moti. It's my pleasure and my honor, Barry, to be here. Why Iran is blaming Israel for all the attacks going on currently inside Iran. The Iranians, both the men in the street and the regime, are more than sure that Israel was behind it. Why? Uh, here in Israel, we have uh, one of the channels, the, the public channel, Channel 11. They air in the last two, three weeks, a series, it's, it's a fiction, uh, named Tehran. Uh, and it shows a, a lady, a girl, who is working for the Mossad, who uh, went to, to Tehran, and she's trying to uh, shut down the electricity in the Iran area by penetrating the, the grid, the electric grid of uh, Tehran, and by shutting down in order to enable some action of Israel. This is the girl. And the Iranian security found her, and they are chasing her, and she is playing with them like Tom and, Jer Tom and Jerry. And uh, this is the series, how she is in Tehran, uh, with all kinds of people who support her, know people, some know her, some do not know. And there's all very, you know, a, a real thriller. And this is already three weeks here in Israel. Now, the men in the street in, in Iran makes a very small conclusion. Say, look, this is the first time which Israel produces and airs such kind of a series of, uh, you know, spionage and sabotage. And lo and behold, in the same time, we have this series of spionage and sabotage in Iran. So it is by Israel. And Israel actually made a whole fun out of it as some kind of hinting that we are behind it by producing and airing this series, the, non, the, the fiction about uh, this girl in, in Tehran. Moti. Why is Apple involved in this new TV show being sold into Iran? They, they bought this series in order to translate it to Persian and to sell it to the Iranians. And believe me, Apple would not do it unless they viewed the profits coming from this series. And they sensed how much the Iranians are interested in this uh, fiction. So... Notwithstanding this new series, which I understand is going to be as popular as the Israeli series Fauda, right. um, there's a group called the Homeland Cheetahs. Supposedly, it's an Iranian underground uh, revolutionary group that wants to overthrow the Ayatollahs. Any truth to that, or is that just made up? Well, there are some hundreds, if not thousands, of organizations uh, which announce their, uh, their uh, existence, mainly by the social media. And let me tell you, the smaller the organization is, the more bombastic their name is. This is the rule. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if this is an organization of 10 people, they will have, you know, middle-sized name. If there's one man, it will have the biggest name in the world. The army of Allah or the army of Islam. Okay, the, the, oh, the, the, this is how it works, first of all. Second thing, this organization uh, took responsibility on the attack on, the, on July the 2nd on that building a few hours before it happened. They came out so fast they knew the attack was happening and even prepared before, the video. Even before, in advance they knew it. Means that whoever perpetrated this action is this organization. Means, let's say the CIA or the Mossad or whoever, they created this kind of uh, uh, front 
name or font organization in order to announce their responsibility for this blast. Okay, this is how it works. Moti, who do you think is responsible for the bombings? There are at least two organizations uh, which um, would do such a thing uh, with, their, with their names or without their names. One is the, the front of the liberation of the Ahwaz. Ahwaz is an area in Iran, in southwest Iran, overlooking the Persian Gulf. This uh, area is populated by Arabs. And for them, the occupied territories is the Ahwaz, since 1925, when Iran took over this place. So, and they have this uh, organization. Uh, the Iranians, of course, say that this is a terrorist organization, while they call them themselves liberation organization. They definitely would uh, be, would like to be involved in such an action against the Ayatollah's regime. And another organization is named Jundallah, means the Army of Allah, which is a very big organization. Uh, which belongs to the Baluchi minority, which dwells in the southeastern part of Iran, adjacent to Pakistan and Afghanistan. Uh, and the Baluchis are actually rebelling against the, the central government in Tehran. And th through the history, they had many attacks against the IRGC, which actually controls their, uh, their area. So these two organizations, which are on the ground, they, they go nowhere, uh, definitely might be the people on the ground who carried out that action in Natanz. But the question is who was behind them? Who gave them the information? Who gave them the explosives maybe? Or maybe who directed them? And of course they could do, do it as a, as a venture by themselves but it could also be involved involving other organizations from outside Iran. So here you are, a little introduction to the espionage and sabotage industry. Thanks for joining us on ATP Report, and a special thank you to Dr. Mordechai Kadar for joining us and sharing all of his insights with us. Please remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, take out your cell phone, text the word TRUTH, and send it to 88202, please only in the United States, you'll get our free text message alerts, all of our shows and information on your cell phone, and it's always free. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.